Okay, up until now, we have been using differentiation with uh, kind of whole, clear, simple, easy numbers, but we've never actually had to approximate uh, any functions or values of functions using like weird, awkward decimals. And that's what I want to do today. So I was originally going to pass this lesson. I know that you know how to write the equation of a tangent line at a point, and I don't really want to go into that today. What I do want to go into is linear approximations. So if we were given a function here with this purple line, and we wanted to find the value here at, I don't know, whatever I could call this point C, and I guess I'll call this point, I don't know, J, that doesn't mean anything, but um, I could find what is the value here at C on our function. Well, I can use that tangent line really close to it, our pink line, and I need to find this little difference of that space right in between to know what uh, this approximation is, right? So I'll show you this in action, it'll make a little bit more sense, but in order to use this, we're gonna say f of x, the value we're looking for, that is approximately f of a, a known value, plus f prime of a, the derivative of that known value, times x minus a, that known value. So let's actually do this in action. We want to find the approximation of the square root of 26 without using a calculator. Well, I can write this as the form y is equal to the square root of x. That seems pretty basic. And y prime, in this case, I can rewrite this as x to the 1 half, is going to be 1 over 2 radical x, right? So f of, or y of, I should have written this as f, but it doesn't really matter. y of 5 is equal to, or y of 25, excuse me, y of 25 is equal to 5, right? Square root of 5. Square root of 25 is 5. And y prime of 25 is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times the square root of 25, which equals 1 over 10, all right? So now we can actually approximate that value. Well, y of 26 is approximately y of 25, which is 5, plus the derivative, 1 tenth, times 26 minus 25. So that's going to be 5 times 1 tenth times 1, or plus, excuse me, is just 1 tenth, and I guess I could... So it's 51 over 10, which is about 5.1. And actually, if I go to my calculator, I can test this. Let's go to our calculator. And the square root of 26 is 5.09999 You can see we actually got very close to our answer, right? We approximated this. So let's do a few more here. All right, we are given f of one equals two and f prime of one equals negative two, and we want to estimate the following function values. First, we want to estimate f of two. Well, f of two is going to be equal to, or approximately equal to, f of one plus f prime of one times two minus one, right? So this is going to be approximately two plus negative two times one, which is approximately two plus negative two, which is zero. Okay, so far so good. We can also do this with f of 1.5. Well, f of 1.5 is going to be approximately, again, f of 1 plus f prime of 1 times, in this case, I'm going to have 1.5 minus 1. So I'm going to have 2 plus negative 2 times 0 0.5, which is going to be approximately uh, 2 plus negative 2, oops, why am I rewriting that? Oh, pause one second here. All right, sorry. This is, so it's 2 plus negative 1, which is approximately 1, okay? And finally, we can do f of 1.25. Well, that's going to be, once again, f of 1 plus f prime of 1 times 1.25 minus 1. So we have approximately 2 plus negative 2 times 0 0.25, I guess I'll do this with fractions, plus negative 2 times 1 fourth, so what would that be? A negative 1 half, so 2 minus 1 half is 1 and 1 half. Looks good to me. All right, so that should make sense. 
Hopefully it's pretty clear to you. We just have a short assignment on this to practice. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in class. Bye.